Hello, my name is Curtis and I work at Parkstown as a technical support specialist and today I want to show you on this two drawer Perlick freezer how to gain access to the evaporator coil to clean it. Anybody should be able to accomplish this just by following these steps and basically just unplug the unit before you begin. So this is a two drawer Perlick freezer. It could be similar to some 24-inch under-counter refrigerators or freezers by other manufacturers. So what you first want to do is basically get access to the evaporator coil. So on this particular unit, you're going to have to remove the drawers. Now these drawers just pull out and then there's clips on the drawer slides here. So on this side there's a plastic clip that you'll push down. The other side will have the same, but you'll push it up and you just keep pulling the drawer towards you and the whole drawer pulls out like so. And then you place these to the side. And then next on this one, you just pull these drawer slides out and they're real easy. The front just pulls up and then slides out. The back just pulls towards you and the whole drawer slide will pull out. After you remove the drawers, the drawer slides, on this unit, you'll have to remove the rails on it right here. And there's six screws in each rail. There's four rails. That makes it a lot easier to pull the back panel off. The whole back panel is going to come out. If you notice any ice on this back wall, especially around these grills or grates, then you might just want to give it a manual defrost. Give it a good 24 to 36 hours to defrost it. On this unit in particular, maybe some other units too, you might get some water come out of the back of the unit. If this unit is built in, you, you would want to pull it out so you can get towels under the back of the unit to avoid any kind of water damage on your floors. So now that everything on the inside is removed, there's four Phillips head screws around the fan guard in the back that you'll be able to uh, remove. So now that the four screws are removed, you can grab it by the top and carefully pull the top down towards you at about a 45 degree angle. Now this bar is in the way, but you should be able to pull it out without removing that. If you think it's going to be an issue, it's just four screws to remove that. Maybe similar to other drawer units. But if you pull it out, you can start to swing it a little bit so you don't scratch the sides. And the whole back panel will come right out. And there's your evaporator coil. So if there was any ice on that coil, you might want the, uh, to wait until that ice can be defrosted. You could use a heat gun to speed that process up and melt all the ice off of it. At this point, if there's any kind of dirt on the coil, you can go ahead and get in there with a brush and just brush the coil off. And if you can see through all the fins, after all the dirt's removed, then your coil is nice and clean. If all the ice is off, then your coil is defrosted. And then basically you can just put everything back together the same way we took it out. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to text us or call us. Thanks for watching and again, happy fixing.